Spain did not partake in the first ever European Championships in 1960, due to General Franco withdrawing them from the tournament. But in 1964, the second edition of the European Championships will be hosted in Spain, and the Spaniards took part for the first time. They soon made amends for missing out on the tournament four years before, and found their way to glory. This is the story of Euro 64, Spain's first honour. Whilst the finals of Euro 64 would again only involve four teams, the qualification process for the competition had improved drastically. A total of 28 teams partook in the qualification process, compared to a measly 17 teams in the previous edition. At the end of the two-year qualification process, the four teams that would be in the finals were Spain, Hungary, Denmark and the holders, the Soviet Union. Spain were managed by José Villalonga, who had twice before been a European champion, managing Real Madrid to European Cup victories in 1956 and 1957. They also had legendary inside right Luis Suarez in their team. Spain would face Hungary in the semi-finals at the Santiago Bernabeu. Spain took the lead in the 35th minute through Jesus Pereira, but a late goal from Ferenc Bene levelled the scores and sent the game into extra time. Fortunately, Spain found a winner from Amancio and would be heading to the final. They would be up against the Soviet Union, who had defeated Denmark 3-0. It was a clash that brought up bad memories. Franco had withdrawn Spain from the previous European Championships, as they were drawn against the Soviet Union, and the right-wing dictator did not want to have to play the communist anthem when they came to Spain. But this time, Franco would not withdraw his side, seeing the significance of winning the tournaments and what it would do for his nation's morale. Close to 80,000 fans were at the Bernabeu in the hope that they would see history unfold. And only six minutes in, the stadium was in euphoria. Jesus Pereira opened the scoring by firing the ball past Lev Yashin. But the Spanish contingent were quickly silenced two minutes later. A through ball was played to Soviet forward Kusainov, who poked the ball past Iribar and into the net. The game had started phenomenally, but after so much excitement, it began to quieten down. The crowd began to feel underwhelmed, with the game's entertainment levels rapidly plummeting. But Spain were able to keep their game up. The Soviet Union produced the odd chance, but Spain were able to do so in kind, although Lev Yashin was hardly an easy man to beat. The teams went in level at one all at half-time. After they re-emerged, the two sides continued to produce the odd chance, but still nothing that was able to break the deadlock. Spain were denied a penalty, and it seemed as though extra time was looming. But in the 84th minute, Pereira was able to swing a ball to the edge of the area, where Marcelino was lurking. He met the ball with his head, and it flew towards the goal so quickly that even Lev Yashin didn't have time to move. The goal was enough to seal the win for the Spanish. The final whistle went, and the Spaniards jubilantly paraded the trophy around the Bernabeu turf. It was a key moment for Spanish football. With Real Madrid impressing so much in the European Cup, the national team were now able to meet their success. While Spain would not win another honour for 44 years, and it was able to put a smile on the face of a country under the oppressive rule of a military dictatorship, 